Hello, and thank you for tuning in to the Live to 110 podcast. My name is Wendy Myers, and you can find me on live to 110com You can also find this video podcast on my YouTube channel, Wendy Live to 110, and on the blog post at live to 110com Today, we're going to be talking to Dr. Dean Bonley about the benefits of magnetism and how you really should be including it in your health regime. Um, I got my Magnetico sleeping pad uh, that Dr. Bonley invented and I've been sleeping on it for a few weeks and I cannot tell you how much better I feel I have more energy more mental clarity I've started to detox a little bit because it aids detox and um, I'm just so thrilled about the future benefits that I'm gonna receive from these magnetos magnetico sleeping pads and I wanted to uh, talk about you know bring him on the show and talk about all the benefits of magnetism and why you should probably be getting a magnetico sleeping pad uh, but first, we have to do the disclaimer. Uh, please keep in mind that this program is not intended to diagnose or treat any disease or health condition and is not a substitute for professional medical advice. The Live to 110 podcast is solely informational in nature, so please consult your healthcare practitioner before engaging in any treatment that we suggest on the show. So I first heard about Magnetico sleeping pads at the Bulletproof Biohackers Conference. Uh, Dr. Jack Cruz, he's a neurosurgeon um, that was talking about the importance of magnetism and how our mitochondria and even oxygen work via magnetism. And if we aren't properly magnetizing our bodies, especially in light of all the EMFs that we uh, encounter every day, the cell phone radiation, use of cell phones, putting it up to our ears and all the electromagnetic fields uh, that disrupt our cells, energy fields and magnetism, um, that we're going to be suffering a lot of health, you know, health issues from that. And one of them being weight gain. Uh, there, there's so many health issues that are uh, negatively impacted uh, by not properly magnetizing our body. Um, so I immediately um, ordered a Magnetico sleeping pad on the advice of Dr. Jack Cruz. And I'm so glad that I did. And I was really, really excited to bring this information and share it with my listeners today. Uh, Dr. Bonley um, graduated with honors from Loma Linda University. During the last 17 years, he has studied magnetism as it relates to health. He has devoted all his energy and focus to this, er to this arena, and his scientific theory on the effect of magnetism on living tissue has made him a widely accepted authority in this field. He is now recognized as an expert researcher, inventor, consultant, and lecturer on biomagnetism, the Academy of Magnetic Therapy, um, and he has taught, I'm sorry, he, uh, in the past, Dr. Bonney has been the president of the North American Academy of Magnetic Therapy, and he has taught courses in magnetic treatment for, uh, for the integrative medicine postdoctoral degree offered by Capital University in Washington, D.C. He also developed a course in magnetic therapy for the International College of Neuropathy in California, and Dr. Bonley regularly lectures at medical conferences and appears on many radio and television interviews. Dr. Bonley invented the Magnetico sleeping pad, uh, which I've been using every night, and this basically imitates the Earth's magnetic field and reduces the harmful effects of EMF. Taking his knowledge of magnetism to the next level, Dr. Bonley then developed and patented a high-strength clinical treatment magnet called the Magnetic Molecular Energizer. Sounds good to me. And this device is now operational in several, uh, several advanced magnetic research institute clinics in the U.S. Phase three studies for FDA approval are currently underway. And the primary types of conditions being treated are neurological and orthopedic, but pilot studies are showing potential cardiology applications as well. This high energy treatment is safe and non-invasive while achieving results pre not previously thought possible. And you can find more information on Dr. Bonley's website um, for the Advanced Magnetic Research Institute. So Dr. Bonley, thank you so much for coming on the show. Glad to be here. Let's uh, have a little fun today. Talk okay. about magnetism. Yes. So why don't you tell us your story? How did you end up studying magnetism? Well, I was at a scientific lecture, and this uh, lecturer from the university was talking about the decline in the Earth magnetic field. And I thought, well, that's interesting. Uh, he said, we should be replacing the Earth magnetic field back to what it used to be. And he didn't know exactly what it used to be, but I uh, went to the 
uh, down to the general library and started reading everything on magnetism and the earth magnetism. And to my amazement, the earth magnetic field of just uh, time of the Babylonian Empire, which is about 4,000 years ago, was 2.78. Uh, Gauss. Now, Gauss is the measurement of magnetic field. We're down to a half a Gauss now. Now, what I learned in studying what they had in the library was that uh, the Earth magnetic field is depreciating at the rate of about 5% per 100 years. And so we've depreciated down now to only five, or in other words, a half a Gauss from 2.78. Now, I talked to one of the geologists that was working out at, in the dinosaur beds. And I thought, well, let's see what the magnetic field was in the time of the dinosaurs. They were huge. And uh, he said they were about 300 Gauss there. Now, how could they tell that? It's by the study of hysteresis. Hysteresis is where they take a sample of the rock or whatever they're sampling and they check the alignment in the magnetite crystals in that rock, and they have it with a man-made uh, piece of rock, and so they can check and compare. And and so uh, when they look in the microscope at the magnetite crystals, they can say, oh, well, they're aligned enough to be, have a magnetic field of 300 Gauss okay. or 10 okay. Gauss or whatever. And so anyhow, uh, that was that's an established practice in scientific community. So we've lost a lot of our magnetic field. Then the thing that I really learned that was shocking was that every about 600,000 years, the Earth had a reversal of its magnetic field. As a matter of fact, uh, we're getting close to that now because in 05, NASA said that we'd be down to zero magnetism within 700 years. And so we're they studied the same things I did, apparently, and made that uh, decision. So that was an announcement made over the radio at that time. So I thought, well, that's interesting. And about that time, Valerie Hunt, Dr. Valerie Hunt, a researcher over at UCLA, uh, thought, what would happen if we took away all the magnetic field? Would the, do we, are we... Uh, depended on it. Now, the reason she did that is because in, uh, in the early 80s, the, there was five countries of the world got together and did core sampling down into the alluvial fans of the major rivers of the earth. And they could go down to bedrock and the sediments was, of course, layering in all those years. And when they got back to bedrock, They've been through about, uh, get this, <laughs> they've gone through many, many uh, mag magnetic reversals. As a matter of fact, nine of them. Oh, wow. And every time there was a magnetic reversal, there was a die-out of the radio lines, which are a very primitive source of, uh, type of life. And uh, so, I thought, well, they died off then. Why did they die off? Must have been the magnetic reversal. So Dr. Hunt thought, well, let's see if that's true. So she had the physics department make her a 7 by 7 by 7 cage of mu metal. That's a metal that is, and blocks out all your magnetic fields. And she put two young volunteers in there. And she had them all wired up with uh, EKGs, ECGs, and electrocardiographs, everything, you know, uh, potentiometers. And... Uh, few minutes, they begin to sob uncontrollably. And she said, what's wrong with you guys? He said, we feel like we're falling apart. And the next thing she noticed, they were losing the feeling in their feet. And then they lost the ability to move their feet. And this crept up the body when it got to the heart with all the alarms went off. But there was something interesting also in that experiment. They tried to suck energy off the adjoining person. So they became very extremely positive and negative right by where they're touching the other person next to them. So we do get energy off other people, apparently. Mm -hmm. And uh, this experiment 
was halted, of course, when the heart began to have, get in trouble, heart muscle get in trouble. So I talked to Dr. Hunt about this experiment, and she said, well, if we would have kept them going much longer, they would have been vegetables. So uh, I thought, that's interesting. Let's see what really happens. Where is the cutoff point? We're down to a half a gauss now. Let's go down to two-tenths of a gauss. And so let be like 60% loss or, or more of what we have now. And uh, so I put mice, young mice, in a mu cage again. Mm -hmm. And they were young mice, the adolescents, so they were jumping around. And uh, you could put your hand in and they jump all over the place. Within 15 minutes, they went into slow motion. You could go in and roll them over and they could hardly get up. That's how dependent we are on magnetism. This is still with some magnetism, but uh, down to 20% of what we have now. In the first 24 hours, one of them died, and the others compensated by eating huge amounts of food, and they became just literally round. They were so obese. Yeah. And, and would have died if we had left them go longer. So uh, this is a big deal, folks. Magnetism is something you have to have for life. And uh, with that, I thought, well, how can we enhance the Earth's magnetic field? Obviously, uh, five-tenths is not near as good as 2.75 in the early Babylonian Empire. So we made the first unidirectional magnetic pad with the magnetic field just going the same direction as the Earth, no reversing in it, and uh, dramatic results. We tried it on uh, an old guy that was really crippled up with arthritis, and in three months, his arthritis is gone. He thought he thought we were miracle workers. Now I had had arthritis in the spine for oh many many years, and uh, so I tried it on myself. In three and a half months, arthritis is all gone. I can tell. I feel so much better. I can't even tell you. Uh, I just I have more energy and more mental clarity. I just I, I can't even speak to how much better I feel. I'm so excited about what's going to happen in three months. <laughs> Okay, so with that, then we started the company and started selling the magnetic pad. That was back in 1990. So you see, this has been going on for a long time. We're now 24 years doing this and doing a lot of research. Now, at the time, we didn't know how magnetism was affecting the human body. We just knew it was good for us. And so I started studying into quantum physics, and I found a formula called the Lamar formula. Now the Lamar formula simply says you put a hydrogen atom in a magnetic field and as you increase the magnetic field you increase the orbital velocity on the valence electrons going around the nucleus of the atom. And as it's going around faster it's cutting more lines of flux so the charge goes up and consequently it is attracted and repelled from other atoms and protons and electrons at a different uh, intensity. So the formula says the atoms go into precession or wobble. So it's like heating a solution to make a chemical reaction happen. You're increasing the molecular activity. And not only that, you have not only are, you have more vibration in the, in the molecular structure, but you have higher charged electrons, so they're far more chemically active. And uh, so, uh, therefore, you have more energy. Yeah, I was feeling kind of bad about, about this because uh, I, I lectured on this at several medical meetings and then I got uh, blasted on Quack Watch. And uh, <laughs> everyone gets blasted there. And they quoted a physicist <laughs> saying that it was all a bunch of hooey. Yeah, yeah. And I was sitting in my office one day and then I got this call from this fellow with a German brogue and, and he starts asking me a lot of questions on quantum physics. And I answered him, and then I finally I said, who are you, anyhow? He says, I'm head of the U.S. fusion program. I said, well, why are you calling me then? And he says, because we're calling to congratulate you. We've just come to the same conclusion as your theory. Ah. So after that, I don't pay any attention to these yeah. naysayers. Yeah, anyhow, it's Quack Watch, so a bunch yeah. of quacks over there at Quack Watch running that site. <laughs> That's right. So anyhow, from then on, we went on to make magnetic pads and sell them to the public and we were noticing a lot of 
very interesting things that are happening. And then I got involved in frequencies and having run, read uh, Robert O. Becker's book on the meridian systems of the body and and the how they were affected and so forth. And I studied into then acupuncture and and all of the related uh, meridian and energy systems of the body. And uh, along with Dr. Becker, and I've sat and talked to him, uh, I came up with a theory of, of how our body actually is working. It's mostly Dr. Becker's, but some of it's mine, some of it's his, okay? And simply that your brain has 80% of the cells that are astrocytes. Their function, primary function, is to convert chemical energy to electrical energy. And this electrical energy then flows out to the periphery of the body. Now, it has two functions. First function is to resonate the different tissues of the body. So that, what is resonance? It's well, to explain that by when an opera singer can hit the right note, he can break a wine glass all to pieces because his frequency is a harmonic of the frequency of the quartz in the glass. And so there's so much energy released that the glass just explodes. And uh, so anyhow, uh, your body is made so that it can happen. So it goes to a whole series of frequency from about 7.5 hertz down to below 1 hertz and back up every 90 minutes to two hours, all night long while you sleep. And the purpose is that to resonate all the different tissues in the body so that you have a great burst of energy there and healing. Because the DNA then will make a lot more RNA and the RNA makes a lot more new tissue. And not only that, the, the mitochondria of the cell then is, is upregulated. In other words, it's enhanced. And so it makes a lot more ATP. And we've proven this at Johns Hopkins University. and. So with a lot more ATP, which is the catalyst, all the chemical reactions in the body, then all your chemistry starts working better. Yeah. And one of the chemical reactions that's very important here, and that is the sodium-potassium pump on the cell wall. And this is the mechanism the cell has to charge up the cell wall so that oxygen is drawn in and the waste products pushed out because of the differential charge. And this little chemical reaction called the sodium potassium pump then is upregulated. In other words, it's working much harder, much more efficiently when you have more ATP to run that. Yeah. And guess what? That leads to detoxification. Yes. And what we learned that once we get above 100 millivolts in differential in the, in the cell wall, Toxic metals start flooding out into the interstitial space and then into the bloodstream. So this is why this is such a wonderful thing for detoxification. Now, let's go back. Uh, talk, that's one of the major things that this does is detoxification. Because probably one of the best uses is in chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia. And we found that pretty well all of these people have had a lot of amalgam fillings, we call them silver fillings, amalgam fillings. And according to the EPA standards, if you have more than four of these things, you're at a toxic level for three hours after you've chewed anything. So that body's absorbing all of that mercury into the body. And if you're under stress, then your cells will be picking that up because when you're under stress, you're not resonating the mitochondria, so you're not making enough ATP, so the sodium-potassium pump is not working very well, so you have a low charge on the cell wall. So the calcium channels open up and bring in toxic metals, but they're supposed to bring in calcium and magnesium, but they aren't discriminatory. They'll bring in toxic metals too because they're positive charged too. And that's how we get full of toxins in our, our body. No stress, you don't get toxins. If you're under stress, you get them. You see, this backup mechanism we have to keep cell respiration going, to keep the cells alive, is a secondary mechanism that we're not meant to be using, only under extreme conditions. But nowadays, people aren't getting enough rest, and they're overstressed. And so this backup mechanism of opening up the calcium channel and bringing in calcium into our cells is happening quite often. And 
This really happens a lot in the brain and in the heart because these are the two organs that are stressed the most. And so we load up with toxic metals in the linings of our arteries and in our heart muscle and in our brain cells. And guess what happens and again in our brain cells? The toxic metals affect the mitochondria in the brain cells. So they're not putting out as much electricity as they did before. And without the electricity then, you're not resonating the tissues of the body and consequently more, uh, more opening of the uh, calcium channels and you're bringing in more toxins and what have you. And to our amazement, when we first started treating chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia, we were recording all of the, how many fillings they had. Most of these people had 10 or more fillings at one time in their life. And by the way, your brain cells aren't dividing. Um, you have some that are dividing their stem cells, but most of the brain cells aren't dividing. Consequently, uh, they're building up more and more. You have the same ones you had when you had when you were nine years old. Mm -hmm. And so they're building up all these toxins all through the years and, and get to the point where the mitochondria in the cell aren't working and the chemical reactions that make electricity are inhibited. And so when we treated these people with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue, it was like magic for them. Uh, we had the, so much mercury came out in the bloodstream, we had to give them DMSA, which is a binding agent for mercury. Yeah. Or we gave them chlorella, and both of them do work, and uh, so that they would uh, get rid of the mercury as it came out, not just deposit somewhere else in the body. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I can, I'll give you a little story about you, like, uh, for your... This lady walked in my office, she said, I need a miracle, Dr. Bonley. I said, what's wrong? She says, I have chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, I'm allergic to all the seven foods, I had to take all my chemicals out of the house, because I'm allergic to them all. Right. She says, life stinks, I've lost my husband over this, I've lost my job, I'm on welfare. And she says, uh, I don't know why I'm talking to you, I have no money. I said, well, how many fillings did you have? She said, I had 23. She says, I, uh, when this all started, I went to 14 different doctors, and they all told me I was crazy. And the last three were alternative doctors. First one told me to get my fillings out, and I got worse. Yeah. The next one told me I needed more vitamins and minerals, and I still didn't get any better. And the last one was a chelation doctor, and he put a needle in my arm and gave me EDTA chelation, and it didn't help at all. And... So here I am. And uh, I said, well, unfortunately, nobody knew what they were doing. And all we need to do is put you on the strongest magnetic pad and give you DMSA. I had a lot of DMSA capsules there, and I gave her enough to last her for a couple months. And she, she looked at me, and she says, you are crazy, aren't you? <laughs> you're going to give me all this stuff? I said, yeah, you're going to pay me when, it gets, when you get well. Yeah. And... <laughs> And uh, as she walked out the door in three months from the date of her treatment, start of the treatment, and she was all happy and face was glowing. I said, well, what's going on? She says, I need some more of those pills. But uh, <laughs> says, life is great. I said, well, how's that? She says, I got a new boyfriend. He's a lot better than that last husband of mine. <laughs> Left her. And it says, I'm not allergic to anything anymore. Yeah. And uh, so... I checked with her again another year later, and she was just doing wonderful and doing very, very well. Mm -hmm. uh, she was a real estate salesman, and her sales were way up. Anyhow, uh, that gives you a little idea what's possible, uh, getting the mercury out of the brain. Yeah. And the mercury is the cause for a lot of diseases we've discovered. Yeah. Uh, not only fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue, but for MS and yeah. Parkinson's, yeah. Uh, it seems to be a major, major part of the problem. And we didn't learn that until we started treating these people with a much stronger magnetic field. And they got nauseated in, in about two hours of treatment. And when we tested their blood, they had huge toxic levels of mercury in their blood. And so we just, all we had to do was give them DMSA and there was no toxicity and no nausea. So this is uh, some of the things we've learned. We've learned also 
that when we treat with a large device, now we're talking about the 10,000 pound electromagnet device, uh, that we, uh, if we're treating the heart, we need to give them. That's the, the, the new one you just invented? Yes, this is another thing that I've invented is this huge device. By the way, we're quite close on having that approved. We we're just putting in our application this month uh, for the, to get that approved for uh, use for low back pain. Okay. And because we found that it's very efficacious in, in healing up the discs in the back and uh, restoring these people to normal activity. Yeah. So. Anyhow, that's um, kind of a fast rundown. Yeah. Well, you, why don't uh, we talk about um, how your sleeping pads come in different sizes they, or strengths. They come in the 5 gallus and the 10 gallus and the 20 gallus. Um, but I read, read on your site that you just said that the magnetic field of the Earth is about uh, 0.5 gauss. So, um, so why do you uh, make them so much stronger than the, the, own, the Earth's own gauss? That started out with, uh, we, for, oh, must have been eight years, we just made them in five gauss, which is ten times the Earth's magnetic field. And then we were on feedback from the patients. Some of them were, like with arthritis, they were only getting partially well. And same with chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia. And we did a big uh, study with the University of Virginia on fibromyalgia. And they compared our uh, magnetic pads with Nikon's. The that was the main competitor of that day, and uh, this is a double-blind placebo-controlled study. And by the way, we came out with only 34 percent, a 32.4 percent reduction in pain, and they came out with no better than the placebo. Mm. And, Put them out uh, of business. <laughs> and uh, so. Uh, uh, they recommended that we make them stronger because people with thinner mattresses had better success than people with thicker ones. So that's why we made uh -huh. then the 10 gauss one and the four and the 20 gauss one. And we found that with 20 gauss, we could eliminate the fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue mm -hmm. and most of the arthritis. And uh, so that's how it all came about. Okay, so can you OD on magnetism? Can you get too much? The, the only thing will happen is the that you'll need less sleep. Uh, in other words, in about six hours, you're ready to go. Okay. Uh, if you're the strongest one, you know. Okay. And because you've, you've enhanced the chemistry in the brain and the body to the point where the body says, oh, you don't need any more of this. Okay. Right? And the other thing that you have to watch out is for the detoxification. Because... Uh, if you've had a lot of fillings, you will have a flood of mercury coming out of the cells. And to, even though you've had EDTA chelation and all the other types of chelation, it'll still be coming out of the brain like everything. Yeah. Because that other kind of chelation doesn't take it out of the brain. No, it doesn't. And so this is the only thing that works for getting it out of the brain. Okay. So. Uh, if you're going to have a problem with that, you'll know because in the morning you'll wake up with a headache and yeah. neck, which will go away in about an hour as the, as the uh, mercury uh, gets eliminated from the body. Yeah. So if you take DMSA uh, or if you take a large dose of chlorella at bedtime, uh, you eliminate that problem. What about zeolite? Zeolite is more for organic toxins. Okay, like, yeah, yeah. Like for you know, your cleaning fluids and things like that, and pesticides. You know, yeah, the fillings that. are inorganic mercury. And the, yeah, we're talking about inorganic, uh, which is mercury and lead and nickel and things like that. Okay. Yeah, so in the whole history of mankind, you know, he slept on the earth, uh, usually in caves, which have more magnetism, I'm sure. And, and so this, that's why this makes so much sense to me. And, you know, the problem today is there's people sleeping in high-rise buildings or they're in their home, they're sleeping uh, probably a few feet off the earth. And can you explain why this is a big problem and really contributing to so many health issues? We were interested in that. <laughs> so we <clears throat> took a magnetometer, a very sophisticated one, so it would be very accurate, and went into high rise apartment buildings. And we got it, you know, we took the difference. So the further up in the high rise you went uh, during them, uh, actually 
pretty well the whole high rise had a significantly less magnetic field in the middle of the rooms in the high rise. And the columns in the middle that were holding it up had a lot more magnetism. So what was happening, the earth magnetic field was drawn to the rebar in the concrete pillars that hold it up. And so it was drawn over there and not coming down to the rooms. And so these poor girls in the middle of the room were in deficient magnetic fields and, and very stressed. And people in the corner offices against the wall, which has rebar in the walls, because uh, they're cement too, uh, they were getting more magnetism. So the executives were getting all the good stuff, and, and the secretaries in the middle were laboring under a stressful condition. And as mm -hmm. a matter of fact, they went from uh, some of the big office buildings that went from uh, all the way down to 2.25 gauss, mm -hmm. which is a very stressed level yeah. in the room. And 0.25, that's pretty low. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, so that's why these poor girls are really stressed out at the end of the day, not just from the work overload, but from the lack of magnetism. Yeah, and it just makes so much sense to me that for millions of years, man slept on, on the ground and enjoyed extra magnetism, and that's how our bodies have evolved to work, the mitochondria and oxygen via magnetism. So it makes uh, so much sense to me to sleep, um, you know, recreate uh, that magnetism by sleeping on a magnetical sleeping pad so that your body can, uh, can enjoy the health benefits it was meant to enjoy. Now let's talk about that increased oxygen. There's two ways. We did a study, 88 people on it, had it done uh, independently, and they found that un under exercise, okay, the people in a magnetic field had 23% advantage over when there was no magnetic field. In other words, there's 23% more oxygen available to the body wow. under exercise. The other thing that we found the, the blood, red blood cells were picking up more oxygen because the uh, mechanism in the red blood cells was stronger because, again, because the higher charge on the valence electrons on, on inside of the red blood cells, okay, was grabbing more oxygen as it went to the, to the lungs. And then plus the fact that every cell had a higher differential on charge, so the oxygen was drawn in much easier, okay, so much more readily, mm -hmm. <laughs> and so you had a lot more oxygen in the cells because of the higher charge on the cell walls. So that's why uh, when we did tests on the Canadian decathlon team, they found if they laid on the magnetic pad for a half hour before they did their event, they actually they got 10% higher points than they did before they did when they weren't using the magnetic pad. And that's how Donovan ba Bailey won the gold medal. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, another example of this. Uh, the coach was so impressed that he told one of his people he was coaching, which is Mr. Canada, that, you know, you need to get on one of these things because you're going to be preparing for the North American Championships in just six weeks. Mm -hmm. And so he came in and said, I don't believe in this, but... I'm a physicist, but I don't believe in this, but he says, my coach says I have to use it. So he used it for six weeks. In six weeks, he increased his reps, and that's one of the many times he could lift a weight or whatever, okay? By 41%, he lost six pounds of fat and gained six pounds of muscle. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't the big deal. He came in second in North America in the championships, but he came in to see me afterwards and he said, Dr. Bonney, I got to thank you. He said it used to be hell being in this business because without pain there was no gain. Yeah. You, had, you had to overdo it in order to get muscles to grow. Yeah. He says you've eliminated 80% of my post-exercise soreness. Yeah. Why is that? Because overnight, all the chemistry is working so much better. You got new muscle tissue overnight, and didn't have all that inflammation carrying over into the morning inflammation, of course, causing the pain. Yeah. We tried this on a couple of first-string quarterbacks in the NFL, which really get beat up oh, yeah. uh, on Sunday. 
And they both came back and told me the same thing. It says, we can go back out and practice the next morning feeling just great because we're not all sore and stiff and the bruising is gone. Yeah. So uh, this is, a uh, uh, matter of fact, one of them had been losing all of his games and he got on there. He won all of his games for the rest of the season. So uh, that gives you a little idea how important it is. Anyhow, uh, you have more questions. Yes, you know, you know, I have to say I'm really looking forward to getting back in shape <laughs> with my Magnetica sleeping pad um, because uh, I think I believe that after talking to Dr. Jack Cruz and a lot of things that I've read that our electromagnetic magnetic fields that we're exposed to every day that disrupt our body's energy fields and magnetism um, promotes weight gain. And um, one thing I've noticed is over the past few years, um, I'm just not able to lose weight like I used to. I eat a healthy diet, I exercise regularly, I detox, I do everything right, and I still have a really difficult time losing weight. And I really feel like the missing piece of the puzzle was the magnetism, magnetizing my body. So can you um, explain a little bit about how the Magnetico sleeping pad aids weight loss? We don't sell it as a weight loss no. device. Mm -hmm. Because there's two things go on here. Your metabolism will pick up, which will cause you to burn more. Remember we talked about the chemical reactions being enhanced? Yeah. <clears throat> so that's your metabolism. So that'll burn up more fat, okay? But the other side of the coin is your digestive tract will be more efficient, so it'll pick up more nutrition than it did before, too. <clears throat> so you've got to not start eating more because you're exercising more, but you got to eat what you ate before, the amount, and then you lose weight. Yeah. And this has seemed, turned out to be a very big benefit for people with digestive problems because the reason for that is usually the digestive glands are getting old and tired. <coughs> and uh, so when enhance the, the chemistry in them, they start making more digestive juices. And so digestion is much faster and much more efficient. Yeah. So that's just another one of the benefits. You see, this is something that affects everything in the body. And uh, the only thing that it doesn't affect a lot, and that is uh, infections. Now, you'll increase the immune system. There's been studies showing that there's more immune cells to fight the infections, but it doesn't stop you from getting contaminated with a virus. But uh, in talking to uh, my son, who's a physician, he said it reduces his chances of getting a cold or a flu from his patients by at least two thirds. Oh, wow. And because he has a better immune system. So, this is, uh, matter of fact, he's such a believer. He had me make little magnetic pads for his babies, just even in their, in their little cribs. <laughs> Uh -oh. uh, yeah, so, so what about EMFs? EMFs are a huge, huge problem today in our society. We're constantly surrounded by wireless radiation. Um, so how does sleep, uh, sleeping on a magnetic sleeping pad you know, counteract, the, counteract the issue of EMFs in our society today? It doesn't block them out because EMFs go right through a magnetic field. It, they just bend the path of the EMF as it goes through. That's all that happens. But how you how it helps you because we have people with electrical sensitivity call in and want to know if it'll help and yes we've helped a lot of people with electrical sensitivity and how it works is the brain remember we talked about that makes the electricity for the body we call it the vitality or the chi okay now if you have your brain working more efficiently Okay, because we're enhancing the chemistry in the brain, we're converting chemical energy to electrical energy, so that's more efficient. You're putting out a higher voltage to the body. So the signals going out to the periphery of the body then are much stronger. So these incoming signals then don't have much effect because you are making a stronger signal. And that's why it works. And uh, <coughs> we... Uh, we never talked about the whole, uh, shall we say, the chi system, meridian system. I, I worked out with Dr. Becker that we kind of got off. And it, 
he found that the electricity flowed out on the swan cells, which are the low ligaments, uh, connected tissue that holds the myelin sheath onto the nerve. So it flows out on these swan cells, which are semiconducting to the periphery of the body to resonate the tissues, and flows back to the fascia, and those are what we call the meridians in Chinese medicine, okay? Up the dura mater of the spinal cord, which is the outer leather sheath that covers the spinal cord, back up to the brain, and there is that current is then is recharged with a higher voltage and goes back out again. Okay, that's the system. Now, riding on that uh, resonance frequency that wave is the message frequencies from the brain to the tissue telling it what to do. And each cell needs instruction to repair properly. Okay, they don't just innately do it on their own. And so, uh, uh, you have a message system then and a resonance system all going through this vitality system or chi system, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and now on the way back, the cells tell the brain. We call it biofeedback, and there's all these biofeedback uh, devices now trying to read what the cells are saying to the brain and uh, telling the brain where it needs help. And so this is our marvelous system we have to maintain good health in our body. Now, if our brain isn't putting out a strong enough signal, all this system gets overridden by these EMFs coming in and our health deteriorates. And so that's uh, why it's so important, okay, to have a good, strong signal coming from your brain and good chemistry going on in your brain and you need to clean your brain out so you have a good, strong signal coming from your brain. Yeah, love it, love it, love it. You you are so good at explaining everything uh, very, very clearly. I really appreciate that. Um, so let's talk about some other issues with uh, your competitors. Uh, these magnetic pads maybe coming from China or by other manufacturers. What are some of the problems with those? Because uh, I think people will be kind of you know naturally tempted to buy a cheaper brand or whatnot. So what what are some of the issues that people have with the the cheaper magnetic magnetic sleeping pads? Yeah, the reason why they don't, first of all, ours is patented, okay, but they do not put enough magnets in. So there's a space between their magnets that allows the magnetic field to completely loop around to the other side of the magnet. So they're exposing the body to a bipolar field that is not natural to the body. So the body goes into an emergency response. Because if we go back to the original formula here, the Lamar formula, it is a directional formula. So you can slow down the valence electrons going around the atoms and they'll lose their charge. And so you'll inhibit chemical reactions. And this happens in the cells in a reverse field. And then you get not enough ATP being, ATP being produced by the mitochondria. So the charge on the cell wall drops and you start getting anoxia in the cell, and that signals the brain through biofeedback to send a lot more electricity to that area and more blood to that area. This is, has the exact same effect as acupuncture. As a matter of fact, we had Dr. Saul Liss uh, test this. He invented the Liss stimulator, which is, a, <clears throat> which is a type of acupuncture device, and he found that doing a acupuncture point on the hand here in the hokey point and putting a magnet on that had exactly the same hormonal effects. One of the other, so you could put a needle in there or you can put a magnet on there and you got the same thing. And the reason for it, they both created an emergency. And the emergency was a 43% increase in better endorphins, which is the natural feel-good hormone. Not the feel-good hormone, but the natural pain-killing hormone. It's very much related to uh, actually morphine. And then the serotonin is 32% increase. All of these things to reduce pain, which is all okay on a short term. But long term, you're in trouble because you're putting the body into an emergency response. Matter of fact, when I used to lecture uh, to in the magnetic American Academy of Magnetic Therapy, uh, there'd be a lot of people who come up to the actor and say, that's why I can't get out of bed in the morning anymore. I've been using this. Uh, bipolar field magnetic pad. Yeah. 
And by the way, all of those are on top of the mattress because they don't have enough power to go through the mattress. So, uh, so they've been stimulated to the point to where their body is just saying, I'm tired out. Yeah. And their adrenals are depleted. And this is the problem they have. That's why they can't get out of bed in the morning. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, so the nature always is best. So if you do uh, simulate nature, it's always going to work better. Anything other than nature, you're going to pay for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, wh Dr. Bonley, what do you think is the most pressing health issue in the world today? It's something I like to ask all my guests. I have a feeling I know what you're going to say. <laughs> but I just don't want your opinion. I'm, I'm going to shock you. It's stress. Oh, yeah. Plain old stress. See, if there's no stress, you don't pick up toxins into the cells. If there's no stress, you don't overuse your brain and you have a reserve of vitality. Okay? So stress. Num next is toxins. That's number two is toxins. And number three is EMFs. Yeah. See, the toxins don't go into the cell unless the cell has already been stressed. Yeah. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you. Amazing. That makes it pretty simple, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah, it makes so much sense. I mean, that's one thing I talk about on, on the podcast all the time and with my mineral power program, that it's all about reducing stress, getting rid of toxins out of the body, resting, proper nutrition, and uh, you know, avoiding as many toxins as you can and EMFs. Well, Dr. Molly, thank you so much that's for coming right. on the show. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show. Did you have any closing thoughts or anything else you wanted to tell the audience or where they can find you? Well, they can call call me on 1-800-265-1119. Okay. And we'll, try, and we'll try and help you out with your problems. And uh, not everybody needs a magnetic pad, I suppose. Uh, if you're young and uh, uh, just a kid, uh, maybe you don't. But by the way, we found that uh, students on the magnetic pads get a whole lot of grade better. Oh, wow. So some of our mothers that have kids that aren't doing well. And by the way, uh, we've also done two little studies on autism and, and using a detox along with the magnetic pad dramatically enhances the function of these kids. They jump, in just two months, they jump one whole level of, of uh, progress. In other words, from medium functioning to high function and what have you. So that, uh, again, because we're taking the uh, toxins out of the brain, so the brain starts working better. Yeah, and I'm really excited because my daughter was uh, on, you know, diagnosed on the autism spectrum at one point. She's doing so much better. I have her on my mineral power program and she's been detoxing, but now she and I are sleeping on the magnetic sleeping pad and I, I'm really, really excited to see uh, in, increasing improvements by magnetizing her body. You might want to give her something to bind the metals as they come out because yeah. uh, that'll be more efficient, okay? Yeah, 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 I'm planning to do that. I'm going to talk to you about that after the show. <laughs> Well, listeners, right. thank you so much for coming on the show, Dr. Bolling. That was un that was incredible, and I know the listeners are going to get so much benefit out of that. And if you, you guys, if you want to find a Magnetico sleeping pad, um, you can look in the Live to 110 store. You can also this is a look on podcast number 80 on the website, and there'll be links there where you can uh, purchase a Magnetico sleeping pad. And um, again, thank, thank you um, everyone so much for listening to the Live to 110 podcast. And please go give me a review on iTunes if you like what you heard today. Would love to help me get my message out by getting those high ratings on the podcast. And thank you so much for listening to the Live to 110 podcast. <laughs>